Well, this is a collaboration with the Kinsey Institute at IU Bloomington. This has given us the opportunity to not only collaborate with our friends just down the highway, but to present the second largest collection of George Pratt Lyons artwork outside of his estate. We have almost 100 photographs in the exhibition by George Pratt Lyons, and they've been paired in certain galleries with some of the artwork that we have here at the Indianapolis Museum of Art. Well, George Pat Lyons photographed primarily in four different genres, ballet, fashion, nudes, and portraiture. Each gallery features highlights from the Kinsey collection in those genres, and they're organized in such a manner that our guests will be able to see the breadth of George Pat Lyons. George Pat Lyons was an incredibly influential photographer that a lot of people don't recognize. He doesn't have a lot of name recognition, but people will recognize the artists that say they were influenced by him. Herb Ritz, Annie, Leib Annie Leibowitz, Irving Penn. These are names that we recognize as major 20th and 21st century photographers. It's absolutely fine art, and he was a surrealist, which was a really interesting form of photography. You'll see some funky things in the show that are directly driven from surrealist photography. George Putt Lines was a gay man in a period that was not, shall we say, open-armed to the lifestyle in which he lived. However, he had an amazing group of friends, and a lot of them have names that you might recognize. A lot of the issues that George Putt Lines faced are still problems that we encounter as a society today, but we hope that presenting George Putt Lines artwork beside artists that helped him live the life that he wanted to, that we are presenting his work in a respectful manner and presenting work that was repressed during his time period because he photographed subject matter that was taboo, mainly the male nude, and he was a gay man.